Folks, I came across this story while I was looking uh, for uh, some other information, and um, I got to tell you, I, I was highly surprised. This story has to do with the Talladega uh, College located down in Alabama, and the college has put in a an application to perform uh, during Donald Trump's inauguration. Now. I have my own thoughts on this, and I also want to say, you know, I've done a, a little bit of research, not a lot, but there are a lot of uh, name brand uh, Class A entertainers that have turned Donald Trump down, and it has created a lot of controversy, particularly given, uh, I think it was uh, Sarah Palin's kid jumped in there and was uh, berating all of the uh, black entertainers that uh, basically said no to Trump. Now, apparently, uh, this historically black school, it's the oldest black school uh, college in the state of Alabama, actually put in an application to perform for Trump. And um, they think it's a 300 member marching band. Um, half of them have already gone through Secret Service clearance in order to perform and the other half probably are, for the most part, going to be cleared as well. But um, there has been no final word where whether Trump says yes, that they will perform or not. I guess we're going to find out by uh, Friday. But it's created a firestorm because uh, a lot of black people are saying that uh, the band shouldn't perform, but then you have some others that said it should. So I want to play the clip, and then obviously, you know, you have your own mind to make up whether you believe that uh, the band should perform or not. Here we go. Form in Donald Trump's inaugural parade. Talladega historically is a historically <laughs> president will decide whether the band will perform. Since Victor Blackwell is there for us this evening. Good evening to you, Victor. The president of the college is supposed to make a decision by tonight. What's the latest? Well, that decision was supposed to have come long before now. We were told all morning that the president of the college, Billy Hawkins, would tell us on camera, here on campus, whether or not the college band would be performing uh, during the inauguration. That never happened. In fact, we learned that the president was never on campus, wasn't even in the state today. In fact, he's huddled in Orlando with the Board of Trustees. They are unable to make a decision while this furor continues online. Talladega College's Tornado Marching Band is now at the center of a social media firestorm. The historically black school facing backlash after it was announced the band would perform during Donald Trump's inaugural parade. Many African Americans still offended by Trump's campaign, including his unorthodox appeal for black voters' support. You're living in poverty. Your schools are no good. You have no jobs. What the hell do you have to lose? Response on Twitter and Facebook to the participation, immediate and emotional. There is no honor in performing for one of the world's most racist people, Donald Trump, one man writes. Another writing, shame on you. While others feeling the nearly 300 band members should participate in the parade. One woman writing that she's proud of this school for breaking the barriers of racism. Another urging students to go for it. Oh, uh, really? Say something? No. When Shirley Farrell heard about her alma mater's potential role in the Trump inauguration, she started a petition urging the college to withdraw. So far, there have been more than 1,300 signatures. A member of the band launched a counter petition saying this parade is not about politics. It's about seeing firsthand the process of a transition. Okay, you can uh, watch the, uh, the transition uh, on TV if you really want to watch it that bad. And... I will note that uh, it wasn't mentioned the number of people that signed that the band should go, but I saw that it was approximately 308 on that particular uh, petition. So. Still, Farrell thinks it's a bad idea. Uh, we're the oldest historically black college in Alabama. Yeah, I knew that. Uh, we have a reputation of fighting for freedom and equal rights and justice, and he doesn't stand for any of that. Farrell says she was most offended by Trump's November 2015 rally in Birmingham. 
A Black Lives Matter protester was beaten, punched, and kicked by several white men in the crowd. E. Trump from the podium seemed to encourage that with his words and his behavior. Trump doubled down several days later. Maybe he should have been roughed up because it was absolutely disgusting what he was doing. I don't want the school to look even, give the appearance of supporting him. The hashtag Talladega College trends on Twitter, but is the battle over the ban such a hot topic here? We asked people in Talladega, the center of this controversy, should the band march? I now, I'm not even going to show uh, uh, all of this because I'm going to be honest with you. It was four people that said, yeah, not a single person said no. So I think that piece was highly edited in order to uh, give the opinion that the town is pretty much behind the uh, <clears throat> pretty much behind the uh, band marching. Well, Don, this narrative that a final decision has not been made only developed after the backlash began. Uh, we tonight have obtained the documents, the application from the school to the inaugural committee asking to participate and the confirmation that the, the school had been selected. On paper, this was already a go. So, Victor, still we don't know until the president decides if the ban will actually show up, correct? That's true. We're expecting an answer tomorrow, possibly on Friday. But I can tell you this, the, the band is on campus. They're rehearsing for some performance. We also know uh, that uh, 150 members of this band have gone through the U.S. Secret Service uh, clearance program. So they are prepared to perform, uh, depending upon what we hear from the president whenever that announcement comes. So stay tuned. Victor Blackwell, thank you very much. I appreciate that. All right, I think that that band got the green light to perform, but uh, it's a uh, board of directors or whatever. Uh, they're sitting there trying to weigh what the actual uh, backlash is going to be. Now, I don't know, do bands that perform, do they get paid? I, I guess they do. But there were people uh, that went online and said they hope that uh, they're getting paid enough money for uh, selling out to uh, Donald Trump and his people. Anyway. I guess we'll see what happens, and if you watch the inauguration uh, uh, events and activities, um, I guess if uh, they decide to go through with it, you'll see them, and if they decide not to go through with it, you won't.